This is a mixed woodland planting of 4,000 ash trees, most of which, like this one, are infected with ash dieback and will be dead within a few years. However, the trees that have been treated with an enriched biochar soil improver still remain healthy to this very day. Ash dieback is a, uh, a devastating disease, obviously, of ash trees. It arrived in the United Kingdom in about 2012. In previous countries where we've had outbreaks of ash dieback, we could potentially lose 98% of all the ash trees that exist here. At the moment, there is, there is no cure for ash dieback. You can try to prune the disease out, but ultimately, at this moment in time, the end result is inevitable. The ash tree will die. Already 20% of all the ash trees that exist here have been felled. The remaining 30% are infected, but interestingly, all the trees that were treated with the enriched biochar have not become infected. Biochar, in essence, is a highly purified and refined form of charcoal. It is different from the uh, conventional cooking charcoal you would buy at the garage forecourts, uh, which concerns me because obviously the, the cooking charcoal is higher in impurities and potentially could be toxic to the trees. This is a study that was instigated about four years ago. The trees we treated were all treated at random. We've got surrounding trees which have got ash dieback. Trees literally at the side of the trees where we put the enriched biochar are dead, diseased and dying. So by all rights, these treated trees should have become infected. We think there's two reasons. One is, is the in incorporation of the enriched biochar itself is improving the soil conditions. We have improved drainage, we have improved aeration. This as a result has allowed greater stimulation of root growth. The more root you have, the more vigorous and healthy a tree. And this is allowing the tree to become more naturally resilient anyway. The second way we're thinking of how the biochar is working is we are literally switching on the tree's own defense systems. We're actually enhancing the tree's immune system. And those two combined is really quite a powerful package, which will be in the soil for the next hundreds, if not thousands of years, is constantly going to keep the tree defences enhanced over the whole lifespan of the tree. There's a number of ways you can actually apply the enriched biochar as you actually plant the tree, simply adding it to the soil, or you can use another process that we call air spading, where we use compressed air just to gently incorporate the enriched biochar around the tree root system. Interestingly, biochar is it's not a new product. It's been around for 1500 years. It was first used by the pre-Columbian communities in the Amazonian basin. And what they found was that by taking a very purified form of charcoal and adding it to the soil, they could really markedly improve their crop productivity. All we've done is we've taken that product and we've made it better. It's more refined, it's more purified, and it's also fully organic. This is a long-term trial. Uh, this will be going for another five, 10 years. We are now taking this forward in, in more rigorous research. Uh, we're taking it to a PhD level and we are looking at other different types and different forms of biochar.